Hey everybody, it's Anthony Viducci for Popular Mechanics Magazine, and today we're going to be taking a look at LG's newest flagship, the G Flex. The most famous part of this phone, obviously, is the new curved screen. Uh, but not only is it curved, but it is flexible, meaning that if I put pressure onto the back of this, you could see it's now straight and, of course, bounces right back. Uh, I thought at first this was going to be a gimmick, but it isn't. Um, it actually helps keep glare down as much as possible while I'm um, on website stuff. So let's take a look at the construction of the phone, too. Uh, as you go around the edges of this phone, you'll notice one thing. Uh, no buttons. Uh, LG, of course, moved everything to the back of the phone, which is pretty smart. Uh, overall, it's got the latest specs. There's just one thing missing. So the latest specs are it's a Snapdragon 800 2.3 gigahertz processor. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage, and a huge battery. I've been able to use this phone for over a day, and I haven't had any issues whatsoever. 720p display, and... Um, no SD card, uh, but like I said, it does have 32 gigs on board. Now, I did say that it had uh, a 720p screen, and I wouldn't let that sway you because uh, if you go back to the, if we go back to the browser, if you really scroll in, you really don't see it. Uh, I had no issues with. It. I mean, you really have to get down to it. Uh, it's a gorgeous screen, and it's really bright. Um, LG put a lot of thought also into the back of the phone, which has uh, some magic on it, which doesn't allow scratches. Any uh, minor scratch, I was able to kind of just rub it with, with my finger, get it uh, heated up, and, um, the, and it's gone. I have to say what they've done um, to the skin, it's a step down from uh, a third-party launcher. So you get to, uh, you get to easily... Uh, move around, adding widgets and apps, a much better way of doing things. They also understand that this phone is big and you're going to be using it mostly in two hands, but uh, they tried their best by letting you kind of move the keys around as best as possible, uh, whether you're left-handed or right-handed. They also have um, some gesture controls. Uh, you do have a uh, multi-window now. On the bottom, obviously, is uh, me reading Poppy Mechanics, and on the top, it playing a video. Also, too, don't forget, you can swap back and forth at any time, so if you're reading something, you're doing something here, and all of a sudden you want to flop back, um, you're going. I mean, this is true multitasking at its heart. Uh, here's your floating windows. Uh, you can uh, make them transparent. Uh, also, too, you can take snapshots and draw on your screen. Uh, so, They've put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into making this uh, customizable and an enjoyable user experience. I got to say, I'm actually kind of uh, thinking that this is probably one of the favorite phones out right now. Uh, like I said, don't let the 720p screen sway you into not buying it. It is a great phone. This is Anthony Viducci for Popular Mechanics Magazine, and this is our review of LG's G Flex.